Hey folks, today we're going to install the Tractor Plus Smart Controller on our John Deere 3025. You going to help me, boy? You going to help me install it or you want to go chase those squirrels? Go eat those squirrels. Go get them. from greenpartsdealer.com. There's a promo code in the description for 5% off or free shipping. It's from another YouTube channel, Tractor Time with Tim. Thanks, Tim, for the code. The unit comes with a Bluetooth dongle, two zip ties, and a cable that connects from your computer port to the computer in your tractor. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is take this collar off, and it's easy. You pull this little black handle out, the same one on the other side, and then the collar will go slide up. And then right over the top of the wheel. Full disclosure guys, I've already installed this and the video footage didn't come out all right, so we're gonna do a real quick recap. Basically, you connect the cable that I showed you earlier to your port here. This is your information port. Then the cable snaps on the other side to your Bluetooth dongle right here. And then they just want you to zip tie it in. It's a toolless install, except I cut this off, so I did use one tool. Real easy. One little trick on these collars, let me show you real quick, is right in here, there's, this slides into a track that's right on the side here. And if you don't get into that track right away, it's really a pain in the neck. All right, let's download the app and try it out. So the first thing we want to do is we want to install the app. I went to the app store, this is on my iPhone, and I installed Tractor Plus. Let's get into the app. When you click on the app, you'll see it says machines and implements. And we're gonna hit plus, and it's gonna say add equipment. We're gonna say, Right there it says equipment with connectivity, so we'll turn the key on. And our tractor popped up, it's a 3025E, North America, that's us. And we'll name it, we'll just put my tractor on this one. Hit continue. And date in service, that was December 6th. 2020 and add equipment and there it is now I got two little site uh, pops that came up and we'll go through it real quick so now we have my equipment we have two notifications so we'll hit my tractor and it's gonna come up with everything we can do with this tractor now it's not on right now it's just the key so we'll get into that a little bit later but let's start at the top maintenance due so if we click on that, it'll tell you what maintenance is due and completed at 20 hours and whatever. I already have done these, so we'll go ahead and say I did it. But it shows if you walk through here, you can see all the different things that are due, which is great. It tells you all the different services oil everything and what's really cool about this is it if you click on them 
it normally will show you the instructions. So let's watch uh, Service Alternator Belt. This tells you how to do it. Gives you a little picture, a diagram of the alternator, how to tighten it down, how to adjust it. And that's pretty impressive. If we look at another task, let's go to, say, changing the oil. If we go to here, it gives you all the parts that are associated with it. So you can actually click on those parts, add it to order, and it'll put it on your John Deere account so you're ready to order it. You can see right there, it's ready to order. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and edit that out. Now, you could also do a tracking, which I don't have it set up for, but you can track your what your tractor is doing, and it works by GPS, which is pretty impress impressive. We go to back to our tractor. You can see operations. It'll walk you through all the different operation controls, how to do things, engine operation, how to activate the key switch. I mean, everything. It's really, really great. Come down here to setup. You, there's other things you can set up in here, prior to operation, ballasting, stuff like that. Smart controller, you see it's connected. Now, this tractor doesn't have a fuel level indicator, so we can't use that, but it does have this live dashboard. This will give you your engine RPM, engine load, ambient temperature, how what, what temperature the coolant is, fuel temperature, everything. Now let's start it up real quick. It's gonna get loud, but we'll see what it says. I got a little bit loud. Hope you guys can still hear me, but you can see the RPM, the engine load, the ambient temperature doesn't have a sensor, coolant temperature. PTO. Rear PTO RPM. Pretty impressive little app. If you have trouble codes, it'll show you your trouble codes. I have no active codes. It's a great little tool for people who are kind of nerdy like me. I, I basically have turned the whole house into an automated home, and so why not have something like this on my tractor? Well, that's true. It's not very fun. <laughs> Pandemic baby. Anyway, that's the app. It's real easy to use. It was $100 on greenpartsdealer.com. I used a coupon code that's down in the description from another YouTube channel. It worked out great. Uh, there's more videos on this controller online and on YouTube. Tractor Time with Tim has a great video on it. Uh, I'm kind of nerdy. I, I like electronic stuff, so I thought it was kind of fun. I mean, why not? I make a, a house is smart house, and I thought, why not make the tractor smart too? Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Quick little video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you could share this with your friends and family, or just anybody, <laughs> I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.